Hi gang, Scott here. Got some info for you about the noise reduction filter in On One Effects. Now, I almost didn't make this video. I didn't want to talk about the noise reduction filter in Effects because it's old. It's old technology. On One just released a new noise reduction product called No Noise AI, and it does a phenomenal, phenomenal job of getting rid of noise in your photos. It really is an amazing product. I have a separate review on that. Link in the show notes, a little button probably popping up here. You can go check that out if you need top quality noise reduction. That's the future for On One's products, No Noise AI. So why talk about this noise reduction filter and effects? I thought I'd do the following in this video. Set context for it so you can understand you know, why it's there, where it came from, why is it still hanging around. I will show you how to use the sliders uh, because if you're still working with On One Photo Raw and you haven't uh, decided whether or not you want to get No Noise AI, you do have this tool available, so you'll see how it works. Uh, but you know that's that's kind of what we'll do here. Is you know just give a little surround on it. But uh, this is vestigial information. This is uh, you know this is an older technology. So much so that I'm going to leave a banner across the bottom of the rest of this video, just saying this is old stuff, and you really want to look toward the future, which is going to be no noise AI. And in fact, where I want to start with setting context is of all of the noise reduction tools that On One offers, this filter is at the bottom of the list. It's like the last one you want to use. So let's look at a photo here. This photo here has a lot of noise. We have grain, we have you know, color splotching, like all of this you know, color noise in, in yeah, basically everywhere. This was a shot at ISO 10,000, so definitely a high ISO, low light kind of photo. Let me set context for this noise reduction filter in effects. Let me add it to the stack and we'll see a, a minor change to the noise in the photo. But uh, where did this noise reduction filter come from and what does it compare to with the rest of On One's offerings? This filter in effects is like the oldest of the noise reduction technologies from On One. Before there was a photo raw, when there was On One effects, it was a plug-in to Aperture, Lightroom, Photoshop, and this uh, noise reduction was one of these filters, this, this uh, set of tools here. As Photo Raw came into play, if I go over to Develop, we have a Details section. Notice there's noise reduction here as well. It's actually a couple of versions of it. They've gone through a couple of iterations of the algorithms, and we have those familiar sliders we see with noise reduction tools. We have luminance, we have color, and we have detail, right? You know, same kind of sliders we have here. If you've looked at No Noise AI, you'll see the same kind of thing. Controls for luminance, controls for color noise, and controls to balance the detail. So, um, so you know, why, uh, why, why do I have these things? Why are these still here if this is old technology? And the primary reason that something like the noise reduction filter is still around is you might have non-destructive work you did last year, two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, how far back does your library go? You don't want those edits to change. You don't want a vendor taking away one of the tools that you use to craft a photo a few years ago. Also, you might have presets that leverage the noise reduction filter or you know, any filter. So On One's very good about not removing functionality because it could break your previous edits. That's actually one of the reasons, if I pop back over to develop, there's a couple of versions of the algorithm here. If you did photo editing in 2017, 2018, 2019, and used noise reduction, well, the algorithms changed in 2020. You don't want to suddenly use a new algorithm because in the context of all of your edits, that might change the look of your photo. And you don't want that. You took the time to get the photo the way you want it. So let the tools be. And so that's why we have you know, effects and we still have this noise reduction filter here. So um, then, well, when would I use it? Why would I use it? The, the, the real reason if you're going to use it is because you're not moving to something like no noise AI. But uh, again, for context, this being the filter being the weakest noise reduction there is. Workflow wise, if you're not using something like no noise AI, which would be at the very front end of a workflow, Start with the noise reduction in develop. This is a better algorithm and you know we can decrease some luminance noise. You can see that getting softened out. 
color it does an okay-ish job this photo is really not not doing very well on uh, you know if, uh, if I were looking at no noise AI and this photo I used in that uh, demo video you'll, you'll see it does a much better job but this is working globally right this is working globally let me zero all that out and we can see those same sliders in noise reduction zero everything out so we can see how the sliders work luminance that's like grain we can see it gets soft and of course it gets very fuzzy when we do that so if we push luminance very far it gets very soft i'll jump down to detail because where you try to bring some of the detail back it's also going to bring back some of the grain right that's that's the trade-off with noise and then color would try to smooth out any of the color splotching and so we can kind of get a good looking photo there you know before and after it's certainly improved but it's not a killer, right? This is not a, like a salvage job. My gosh, I can go use this photo. Yeah, no noise AI. I'm going to keep harping on that. Yeah, check, check that one out. So when would I use this guy? You know, what, what would this be useful for? Uh, let me reset that. Um, actually, let's turn it off. Uh, the way I would operate, if you're still using just like Photo Raw, you haven't decided whether or not you want no noise AI. Maybe a noise is occasional for you. You're shooting low ISO all the time. I'd start in the develop module and just try to dial in something that is reasonable. And reasonable will depend on your tastes, how much grain you can tolerate, how much uh, color noise you can tolerate. You know, this one, I'm going to push that color up pretty darn far because it's still pretty, pretty messy up in here. But getting things to an overall pretty all right in the photo but you know notice down in the in the shadow areas I hadn't even looked at that area before there's still a whole lot of color noise going on this is where the noise reduction filter in effects might provide you some help again you're not using the, the newest product you're sticking with what you have in photo raw right now and you've got a photo you need to deal with noise do something globally with these controls don't push everything all the way unless you really need that for the photo. And then use noise reduction in the effects panel to tidy things up. And the one area of the filter I haven't shown you yet is down at the bottom, apply to. Now apply to, this is the same type of stuff we get with all of our filters in the gear menu, right? We have apply to. Because it's so useful for noise reduction, it's been promoted to the outside of the tool. So let me do something like this. I'm going to push luminance. I'm going to push color all the way. So we can see this is getting very smoothed out. Check out the shadow areas. You know, super smoothed out before and after. Let me zoom in here. Bring this up. I mean, this is this is not usable because it's it's too soft. But now I can apply to you know the shadow areas or I could apply to neutral colors, right? And you can hover over these things and see the previews happen. Shadows seem to be the best choice. Now this is a low light photo, so a lot of things are in shadow, right? Before and after. I certainly see more of a dramatic effect down here than I do say in this brighter area, before and after. And that's where the range slider comes in. You can dial this in to try to blend things out. The other option you have with all filters in effects, which can be useful for noise reduction, let's go ahead and return this to apply to everything, is your masking tools. Now, masking, we have luminance masks. We can do a luminance mask. I'll view that. The dark areas are, are revealed. Sorry, dark is uh, conceal, bright is reveal. I want the exact opposite. Say I want to target my noise reduction to just the shadows can dial that in how I need to and you know adjust my range how I might want it and you know maybe something like that where I'm intensifying the noise reduction in just the shadows I can do all of that here turn off the view 
and we can see that softness has been targeted to just like shadow areas. Now all of this I can do in No Noise AI as well. It's got the layering built in. It's got these luminance range masks. I can do different treatments at different stages of your noise reduction on the front end before doing anything else and you're working with that raw file. But that's kind of where noise reduction as a filter might be useful for you if you're sticking with Photo Raw for now, what I expect to happen over the course of uh, the next you know, several months, likely with the next release of Photo Raw, the No Noise AI technology is going to fold into the effects module, or maybe actually it might even fold into the develop module and maybe become a new. Uh, algorithm, a new pull down from uh, from that pick list we saw in the detail section. So, um, so that's kind of it. That's that's kind of the, the the rundown of noise reduction, the effects filter, least powerful, can't really get uh, as as good a result as compared to the dedicated no noise AI algorithms. It is there for you if you need to use it. And I would advocate coupling the effects filter with the develop module, or if you're working with uh, effects as a plugin, whatever noise reduction your main photo hub offers, start with that, get something done globally, and maybe you can polish it up with some targeted adjustments with the effects module. Hope you found it useful. Got questions? Take a look below. There's a comment box. Drop your question in there, and I'm uh, trying my best to answer every one of them. Well, until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.